Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Here we are, here we are indeed, baby. With Fallout 4 VR. And as you see, as I go through the menu, it does not flick backwards. We're not going backwards, we're only going in the direction that we want. It has been fixed. You can now confidently sort of go through menus like you want to do, like you always wanted to do. You see it as I go down, it doesn't go back up. Going through this sort of thing is not hard. Before you used to always flick backwards, but now it's been fixed. You see. And it's been fixed thanks to Matsman666 here. As you see in this little website, uh, that is the link right there. I'll copy and paste that in the Facebook window afterwards. But if you just look this up, I'm sure you'll find it. The input emulator OpenVR thingy, right? What you gotta do is you download the EXE, the OpenVR input emulator version 1.1 aquasfix2.exe. You get that, you install it, it'll create a folder. Inside that folder, look for the executable, and, and you launch that thing, okay? Before you have SteamVR open. And then once you have SteamVR open, you'll see this new thing at the bottom. I don't know if you can see this. Yes, you can. You see right here, it says VR input. Right there. That's a new thing. When you go inside of there, you get this. Input mapping settings. It's quite glorious, really. Quite glorious. I already have it set up, right? Over here at the top, you have your devices. You have the headset, left and right controller, right? I'm doing the left controller, because that's, that's the one that does the Pip-Boy and most things. Uh, I, I'm good on the right controller. I can already pick up stuff quite well, uh, so that's just fine, right? But for the left one, just go to, you know, left controller. You, you hit identify, it'll make it vibrate, just so we know for sure. Controller left, okay, cool, cool, cool. You go to input remapping, right? I'll go ahead and do a new profile, just so we're all on the same uh, Peachy Keen page, right? Doesn't really matter. So, left controller here, input remapping, right? You go down to analog inputs, axis zero, and under here, you want to make sure that this thing says, under touchpad emulation, either position-based or capacitive sensor-based, just not disabled. I'm not quite sure how the capacitive sensor-based one works, but... I tried position based and it works just fine. And then you want to click that thing right there where it says button press dead zone fix. Both these things here make it so that it doesn't snap backwards all the, all the darn time. Okay. When you hit save and all that stuff, the thing you have to do is you have to make sure it's turned on. So this is the tricky part. There is no A button on the left controller and the person that made this whole thing, they're still working on it, you see, I guess. Okay. So, this right here doesn't work. I have to do it under grip, but grip is used to go backwards in menus. So, I have to turn it on and quickly turn it off. So what I do is I load everything up, right? And then I make sure that this one right here for the grip, which is actually R2 on the left controller, I set the binding type to toggle touchpad emulation, okay? and then we're good to go. And what we do is, once we back on out, once we back on out, we know we're good to go here. I'll go to hit the uh, system button again. Now, I'll see, as you see, it reverted back. And my back button doesn't work anymore because it's a input reassignment. So, the way I turn it on, this thing here because it's off right now. You see how it's flicking back all the darn time? <laughs> I have to hold R2. And now it's good to go. And once I'm and once I see it's good to go here, see it's good to go. I can go where I want. It's not flicking backwards. Once I, I make sure it's good to go, I press the system button again, right? And then I have to turn off that thing. I disable this grip thing, right? And then I disable it. I disable it, no remapping, saved, done, close it up, and now we're still good to go, and now I can use the back button. Oh, I didn't save it. Uh, 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 see, right there, didn't save it. Uh, uh. 
no remapping. Save and then double save and then close. Now we're good to go. See, it's still, it's, oh, 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 oh. One second. <sighs> okay, turn it back on. Turn it back on. Yep, yep. See, I had it all good to go before I started. I'm just showing you how it is. You have to make sure it's all good to go before you start your whole thing. Okay, it's set. There it is, right? Now I'll test it. It's off right now. I'll turn it on by holding R2 for a second. And now it's good to go. Okay, so I'll go back to the system button and I'll turn this off. Okay, it's off. Or sorry, it's it's working properly now and I press the back button and it works. And now we're in. In like Flynn, baby. In like the Flynn, if you know what I'm in. See, it's good, it works, it works, it works. Now we'll go inside and I'll show you the pit boy real quick. I'll show you the pit boy and, and I'll show you how it's now functional. So again, open VR input emulator version 1.1 underscore beta one by Matsman666. That's Mike Alpha Tango Zulu, Mike Alpha November 666. Okay. And you want the Oculus Fix 2. And he describes how it works. And there's also a uh, community post in the uh, Steam VR page area uh, of the discussion board under Steam for the game Fallout 4 VR. You'll find it in there too where they're kind of talking about it. But here it is, right here. So now, as, as you see, if I want to go left and right, I can go where I want to go without it flicking backwards. It's amazing. It's like glorious. I'm like shaking with. Awesomeness, man. I can actually read things now and not have to worry about it. You know what I mean? My map is now functional. Before, my map was like always flicking backwards like a crazy person. It was like going real bad. I couldn't really navigate anywhere. It'd take forever to do anything. You know what I mean? It's great. It's working out now. I can go through my aid, for example. Oh boy, oh boy. Still got a flick, but see, it's not going backwards. The only problem now is overshooting, okay? But at least you're not going backwards. You're just overshooting. Because now if you go delicate, you're there. If you go delicate, you're there. Before, if you went delicate, it'll go click, 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 click. Okay, I'll go to aid, right? Yeah. And then go to where I want to go. Then I will. Okay, I want to put cycle jet on my little hot bar, so. Awesome. Yes, man, it works. It works. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's glorious, man. It's glorious. Freaking glorious. I'm happy, man. It's like there's so much I could do now. Before I couldn't do anything, I couldn't do nothing. Prime. Blocks picked, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't read entire categories of things, man. I couldn't I couldn't do stuff. Police station. First step is... Kill the Raiders. Yep. I'm doing that right now. In the Corvega assembly plant. Go to Diamond City and... And... Report to the director of... Whew. All this stuff. All these things. Yeah. Yep, that's what it's all about. The Matsman 666 Open VR Input Emulator. You close out, so, so again, to operate it, to launch it up, you close out of all your VR stuff. You go back to the nothingness. You close it all out. You download that file right here, the third one down, the one that's 24.6 megabytes, same as the second one, but the one that says Aquas Fix 2, you want to get that one. Once you download that, once you install it, it'll create a folder, okay? You go to that folder, and then you launch the executable, all right? The EXE, you can sort by file type, and you'll, you'll figure out which one it is. There's only two of them, okay? 
And then once that happens, once you install that thing, then you open up Steam VR afterwards. And if you do it properly, again, you'll see this right here. Normally it's just Steam, Desktop, Vive, and Settings. Now there's Steam, Desktop, Vive, this weird VR input thing, and then Settings. And in here you have this Input Remapping Settings thing, okay? And you're able to save different profiles, okay? And when you do that, you're able to set up left or right controller. I do my left one because that's the one that you use for your, men for your menus. You go under Input Remapping, so you don't touch anything here, okay? It's all confusing. Right, don't worry about it. You can hit identify up here, and that will make your controller vibrate, so you know for sure it's kind of like in sync. Over here, don't worry about any of this except for input remapping, okay? For right here, all you gotta worry about is a... Okay, so the way this works is, it's not always on. You have to tell it to go on, even though you, you just set it up. You have to press a button to toggle it on or off. But the problem is, there is no A button on the left controller, it's the X button, so I've tried this one, it doesn't work. But So I have to do it through the grip button, which is R2. But the grip is used to go backwards in menus, so it makes going through menus not functional. So what you have to do is, you have to set all this up, right, go in here, make sure it's all working and everything, test it out, turn it on, and then go into the menu and then turn this setting off. So by turning on, I mean, you hit R2. R2, sorry, uh, L2. So, I'll mm -hmm. go ahead and turn this bad boy on. For, I'm enabling the grip button to now serve as a toggle switch. So what, what I'm gonna do is, enter again. So now, now, let's see here. Right now, we have the fix on. As you see, we can go gently and calmly into the sweet night. You know what I mean? Everything's okay. It's all okay, it's working. Right? I can even go through this without going backwards all crazy like. Until I hold R2, or sorry, L2, the grip button. And now, I let go of it, right? And now, oh god, backwards, backwards, oh, 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 oh. Like, like for example, let's say I want to go just to that bunny right there. Well, I went to it, but still. Where's the bunny at? See? Is it going backwards and it's horrible, horrible? Oh, I'm going backwards. Oh, no, no, no. It's horrible. So I, I hold L2 to turn it back on, the fix. Now the fix is on, and now it's working, you see. But, you see down there where it says close? That symbol means the grip button. That means I can't close this menu. So, now that I know it's on, I test it a little bit. I hit the system button, right there, right? <laughs> and then I turn this option off right here. I remove the, oh boy, right here under input remapping settings under digital inputs, I take off this uh, remapping, I take off the toggle switch that turns it on or off, so it's already on, and then I, I destroy the switch, it's like, you know, you steal the car, then you shoot the ignition, or you shoot the lock after you're in the door, you know sort of thing just to make sure it doesn't turn back on so no remapping you hit save and then you hit save again and then we're good to go we test it once more all right let's back out back out you just hit the system button and now i make sure it works it works the fix is on and to make sure i could navigate through menus i hit the grip button and it works so there it is working fantastically Quite amazingly, thanks to Manny, uh, never mind, Matsman666, Mats, Mike, Alpha, Tango, Zulu, Mike, Alpha, November, 666. Look it up. This is the file. You want that one right there? The OpenVR Input Emulator version 1.1 Oculus Fix 2. You launch that thing up. You do the diddle. It's good to go. It's good. You just, have, you just have to make sure to turn on or off the uh, that grip button. Otherwise, you can't close menus. Unless A really is X, and I'm going to worry about that. Either way, it works. I also, at first, didn't like the fact that the pit boy was so huge, but I made it bigger. So you could see what I'm looking at a little bit better. 
And I kind of like the whole, it's a nice smooth transition of the Pip-Boy going up and down. That's no longer really a complaint. And I never had a problem with like picking up stuff, like here's a glowing mushroom. See, I got it. So that's not really a problem for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'll be starting the real stream in just a second. After I close this bad boy out, I just want to show you guys what was learned by the internet and the glory that is those modern people. And great thanks to Matsman666 for what he has done and provided to the gaming community. Baby. Thank you for watching this, and I'll be right back in a second with the real deal where I do my things I have to do out there in the Commonwealth area. I have to go out to that smokestack out there. I gotta do all kinds of stuff, man. It's exciting. I've already cleared out all this stuff, but I like to go back through and then I wanna, I have to do a lot of things. I actually need to clear out this one robot town, a town full of robots. It kicked my butt earlier. I couldn't do it, so. I had to regroup, do all kinds of stuff. Now I'm back in action. It's way out there somewhere, the robot town. I'm gonna swing around and hit up that plant eventually. And this town nearby. It'll be a nice four hour session. When I come back, it'll be a four hour session, baby. Again, this is what you need to fix it. I also recommend that you opt into the beta for the game because then you get a graphics update which fixes anti-aliasing anti-aliasing issues as you see there's no real aliasing on that edge right there you know see there's no aliasing there i mean it's still ugly to a certain degree but you get used to this drabness it becomes a style that you appreciate <laughs> but yeah and then also uh, fix the softening and raise the uh, the uh super sampling to around 1.4 or 1.2 one of those two things yeah, man. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, thank you for watching. Okay, I know. Sorry, robot. I was just showing the people what to do. Thanks to this person. And you. Alright. Alright. Catch you all later. In just a second, baby.